Uh, oh yeah. So, like, <laughs> so me and a friend ended up getting Discord working on Android 4.1. Um, I plan later this week on making, like, an Android 4.1 through 4.4 survival guide for anyone who might be interested in that, but, um, for now, this is just gonna be a video of how to get Discord working on, on these older devices, or this older version of Android, whatever your situation is. And I'm also going to explain to you how we did it, because, uh, I wanna give credit to this guy, so. So basically, I had this Kindle, um, and it was running, it's running Android 4.4 on it, and... Like six months ago, maybe, I installed Discord 9.8.8, .8, which is the last version that worked on Android 4 and higher. Um, and I was able to sign in and use Discord and everything like that. And I even went on it the day that I tried doing this, and I was still able to use Discord. I was still signed in and everything like that. But when I was doing it on my new phone, which is running Android 4.1, the problem was, I would sign in and it would just say, this field is required, when there was actually just no field left to fill in at the login screen. <laughs> After a slight bit of messing around, he was able to figure out what the fuck was wrong. Um, and after a couple of these APKs being tested, I finally got one that actually installed on Android 4.1 that he, that he sent me. And I ended up having a problem with the reCAPTCHA. Just a quick note. I don't know how the hell I forgot to mention this, but if you do get a reCAPTCHA, you need to sign into Discord on another computer or like uh, in a browser or something on some other computer or phone that you have in your house on the same IP address. So make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi network, sign in and do the reCAPTCHA on that device, and then you can sign in on your, on your phone with this APK, and it will not ask you to to verify if you're human or not because you already did it on this IP address. That is the only way to get around it. So you do need access to some modern device for this one thing. Oh, and also, um, API v6 and 7 were supposed to be discontinued in early 2023, and it's still up, which is what this APK is running on. So, all right, so there's Discord. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned already, but the link to this APK is obviously in the description so that anyone can access it. And as you can see, it is fully functional in every way. Um, obviously, there's a couple of features missing from like um, the latest version of Discord. Um, if you're using Android 4, hopefully you don't really care that much about that anyways. But yeah, I really... it's pretty good. So, yeah, that's about it. See ya.